Hi guys, it's Kaz and today I'm here with a book review of The 100 Year Old Man Who Climbed Out the Window and Disappeared by Jonas Jonasson. This is literally about a 100 year old man who climbs out the window and disappears. It is his 100th birthday and he escapes the old folks home that he is living in. He proceeds to go on a very very wild adventure, meeting some interesting people along the way and he finds himself in some troubling situations as well. This was a very interesting book to say the least. Despite the fact that the main character finds himself in some very serious predicaments, the book continues to be light-hearted and humorous throughout the entire thing. It definitely has a comedic slant to it uh, which makes this quite a fun and entertaining read but for me personally I didn't particularly love it. My main concern was the fact that these crazy things happened and our characters reacted in certain ways. The fact that these things were done for humorous effect but to the extent that it was done made it quite unbelievable, especially considering the high stakes and the brevity of the situation a lot of the time. So in terms of characters, for example, the way that they responded to situations and interacted with characters, for the most part I didn't have a problem, but I, there was one character in particular who, at the start, was so hell-bent on revenge and they just seemed so deadly and out to kill, and then one thing happens and all of a sudden everything's okay. They can just postpone that thing or just forget about it, which was just quite an unrealistic response for some to switch like that so completely. But aside from that particular character, even though some of the other responses and interactions might have been a little unrealistic, I enjoyed it because it wasn't quite as extreme. I could really appreciate the comedy in it. One thing about the story as well was that it actually jumps back in time quite a lot. So we get to have pretty much an entire life history about our main character, Alan, which I found quite fascinating, especially towards the beginning. But again, things started to get a little bit unbelievable, just the people that he meets and the influence he seemed to have on a lot of of historical events I guess and I could appreciate what the author was doing but again the extent at which it was done was a little irksome to me. Basically the beginning portion of the book I thought was a really nice balance between the present day and those flashbacks to Alan's past and learning about his history and his youth and things like that and I really did enjoy the events and the humour but as the story progressed things seemed to escalate past the point where I enjoyed it. The flashback started to get longer and longer and took up a greater portion of the book than the present day did and then the actual history of Alan's life, again the events became progressively more unbelievable as things went on. And after finishing the book I kind of found that the flashback seemed a little bit redundant and unnecessary, particularly to the length at which this book goes into these flashbacks. It felt like such a detailed history of Alan's life was given to us in order to explain basically passing mentions, like things that don't really matter to the story in the present day at all. It just seemed a bit unnecessary and exaggerated to the point where I didn't understand the meaning behind it anymore. One thing I want to mention about this book is the fact that this was originally written in Swedish. So the author is Swedish and the book I read slash listened to was obviously translated and I think it was a really really well done translation. Sometimes you come across books that you can tell that they have been translated but I think that the translation was done really well. I also haven't really read much by Swedish authors so I'm not sure if this kind of comedic storytelling is quite popular. Maybe just this form of comedic storytelling was just out of my comfort zone I guess. And although I did have some problems with it and didn't enjoy it as much as I was hoping to, I can see the appeal in it so if it does sound interesting to you maybe give it a try. So I ended up giving this one a two and a half out of five stars. I really enjoyed the beginning portion of the book, it just seemed to kind of drag a little bit towards the end of it for me. That was my review of The 100 Year Old Man Who Climbed Out the Window and Disappeared, a very long title. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you have read the book I'd really love to hear your thoughts on it. Did you get as irritated as I did or is that just me being super nitpicky? Give me your thoughts, I'd love to hear them. Anyway, that's all that I have for this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!